Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about being vegan uh, since I got uh, quite a few requests about it. If you think you will never go vegan, I request you to please watch till the end of the video because I have some tips which you can uh, implement in order to you know better our world, our environment, uh, climate change, everything. So what is vegan? It's basically replacing any animal or animal derived products from your lifestyle, mainly being your diet. It involves not eating any meat, which is no animals, birds, seafood, reptiles, etc. It also involves not eating any dairy, which is milk, uh, yogurt, butter, ghee, uh, cheese, paneer, condensed milk, eggs, etc also no honey apart from consuming uh, animal or dairy products it also involves um, not hurting animals in other forms like uh, refraining from wearing leather silk wool fur feather etc leather is uh, everywhere it is basically used in you know your handbags your belts, your purses, your wallets, car seats, your ottomans, your sofa seats, uh, your dining chairs, your headboards, etc. Other places where animal abuse happens is in zoo, in uh, fish aquariums, also in Indian weddings where the groom will come on top of an animal like horse or elephant, etc. Also horse racing is uh, kind of an uh, animal abuse. And in circuses where animals are made to um, act in a certain way so that it can please the people watching them. Animal abuse also happens in cosmetic industry and skincare industry where a product such as a lipstick will be tested on animals such as rabbits, birds, rats, etc. to check how they react to certain chemicals before selling it to the consumers. Animal products are also used in medications, cleaning products, uh, shampoos, conditioners, bath soaps, etc. So these are some of the things where animal products are used, but that doesn't mean that you have to follow everything in order to you know, uh, strive toward being a vegan. You can do whatever you can in your capacity given your situation and uh, that's all everybody are trying to do here so no pressure next let's move on to why to go vegan many people incorporate plant-based lifestyle mainly because of their health reasons because certain types of meat consumption leads to heart diseases cancer etc some people have cured um, diabetes thyroid cr chronic pain uh, you know in their body etc when they have switched to plant-based diet my story is also kind of similar at one point i thought i'm gonna die because my body started rejecting everything i couldn't digest anything anymore properly and um, imagine when you are uh, you know reaching that certain age where uh, you know your body no longer takes any food anymore oh uh, yeah my body went through that phase and I thought I was, I was going to die. That is when I discovered this diet and it has helped me tremendously to improve my health. That story is for another time, not now. <laughs> the next reason why people go uh, plant-based or become vegan is uh, for the environment. Yes. Did you know that it takes 2000 gallons of water to produce one pound of beef? Animal farming contributes towards climate change, which is more than all types of transportation combined. And so is, uh, it is also responsible for deforestation. So people are cutting down trees to make way for animal farming and they are burning those trees, which is leading to pollution as well as carbon emissions, which is why climate change is happening, which is why ice caps are melting. Did you know that indigenous uh, people are fighting to protect the forest and they are being detained, harassed, abducted, shot so that they can grow soy in those lands to feed the animals. 
and due to deforestation the wildlife is going extinct some of the wildlife which we haven't even discovered are going extinct and you know what happens when the cycle of life is broken the ongoing coronavirus is also a result of factory farming where animals especially wild animals were kept in small cages and the virus was able to develop in those uh, you know extreme conditions if everyone ate plant based diet we would require only 75% of the farm land which we require today that's an area equivalent to the us china europe and australia combined that's because it takes less land to grow food for human consumption than to feed it to animals and then eating the animal later some people go vegan for compassion towards animals billions and billions of people have mainly cats and dogs as their pets that's because we have been trained uh, to see them as pets and not as food similarly vegans extend the same ideology to other animals such as cows pigs rabbits etc these animals and poultry are kept in confined spaces they are they are beaten they are uh, impregnated they are uh, kept away from loved ones they are and then finally slaughtered in the egg industry once the eggs are hatched if they are male chicks they are directly sent to these grinders alive to be ground up so that they can be converted into you know meat and if it is a female chick they will be debeaked basically the beaks are cut off with a hot knife so that they will not poke each other when they are in confined spaces and this way they can grow bulkier and they will be either ready for meat consumption or they will be ready for um, egg laying throughout their entire life before they are sent to slaughterhouse same thing happens in the beef industry which is basically cows the other industry is the dairy industry the cows are forcefully impregnated uh, so that they can uh, you know deliver babies and and in turn produce lot of milk for human consumption all year round they are injected painfully with these hormones note that the milk also contains all the hormones which was injected to the cows so this is why many people are you know uh getting sick of eating dairy so you can see many people are you know um going away from uh, dairy products once they deliver if the baby is a male male calf it is directly sent to slaughterhouse because they are of no use in terms of dairy industry but if the baby calf is a female it will be kept but it won't be allowed to feed on the milk because the milk is for human consumption so it, it will be fed some kind of grain until it grows up and then after it grows up it will go through the same cycle as its mother to produce milk and the cycle continues the other industry is the leather industry many people think that leather industry is a by product of the meat industry but many of us don't know that some animals are de skinned alive just for the sake of skin so that they can make a leather purses and leather what not from it so these are some of the reasons why people choose to go vegan next day, let's talk about how to go vegan first of all accept it with an open mindset don't uh, think that people are forcing you to go vegan or do certain things certain way etc just don't even think about oh if i listen to this person i have to go vegan or if i do this read this book i have to go vegan none of that just go with an open mind and take it from there do what you want from there next you can uh, read and educate yourself some good books are uh, forks over knives uh, cowspiracy etc or watch some slaughterhouse footages uh, where you can see how the animals are treated before they are pleasing our taste buds how the dairy industry works etc so you can decide for yourself uh, what you can do about it or watch certain documentaries on how the meat we consume or the dairy we consume ends up on a plate we can watch documentaries about how animals are treated how poultry is treated how dairy farm works how you know 
how meat is affecting our climate, our environment, our future, how it is destroying uh, Amazonian forests. Uh, all these things kind of, you know, build up to what you want to achieve in terms of living a compassionate life and how you can contribute towards uh, climate change and learn the truth about what is happening around the world. If possible, also make the ethical connection uh, towards animals. Be compassionate to all animals, not just uh, one or two animals um, on this planet. Next, you need to ask for support uh, for help groups or Facebook groups or wherever you can find help, ask people. Uh, you can also ask me if you need any kind of help and I'll be very glad to help you all. There's tons and tons of information. All you have to do is just ask. Next, you need to go very slowly. This is not something you can just, you know, go like that and change your diet. I mean, some people can do it, but I do not recommend it because that's how, that is not how I did it. So, I feel like taking one step at a time is the best way to go. So if you're someone who consumes meat, I would say you can start with uh, replacing uh, red meat. Note that I didn't say you should stop eating red meat because that is that doesn't work. So you always have to replace what you're eating. Nowadays there is a lot of options to almost everything. So if you want to replace beef, you can always um, re replace with imitation beef, for example, or imitation chicken, etc. So that you don't kind of fall off the wagon and you still continue to sustain through this journey. Since I live in the US, I know certain brands which make imitation meat, such as Beyond Burger, Impossible Burgers, Guardian, etc. So maybe choose one of those uh, meal, meat alternatives uh, to, to switch to a, a vegan or a plant-based diet. Also, I've heard, uh, you know, people who eat meat say that, you know, some vegetables taste like meat. Uh, such as mushrooms, jackfruit, eggplant, cauliflower, etc. So maybe play around with these vegetables and see if it can help you switch from eating meat every day. You can apply the same concept for poultry and then maybe replace poultry with imitation meat. Once you have quit beef and once you have quit poultry, uh, then you can think about become, becoming a pescatarian, which is basically eating only seafood at that point. Uh, which is also a huge change in your lifestyle. The next step would be again replacing seafood with seafood alternatives. Again, there are so many of them and you can choose to replace them. Eventually, you can replace these imitation meats to plant-based foods like, like I said, other vegetables like mushrooms, eggplants, etc. If you're vegetarian, you're already a step ahead in this journey. But the basic principle apply to dairy industry as well. Here you just have to replace milk products with milk alternatives. Did you know that cow's milk is just one type of milk, but there are like literally like 10 types of plant-based milk. Like um, it can be almond, oat, cashew, hemp, coconut. There are tons of uh, milk alternatives you can choose from. Even though there are a lot of plant-based alternatives for dairy, you still have to experiment a little bit um, because sometimes the milk, uh, for example, if you drink coffee, the milk uh, kind of curdles. So you don't want to drink that kind of coffee. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, so I don't know what plant-based milk is best for coffee. But I'll, I'll, I'll link all the information I know in the description box so you can check it out. Uh, but I think... Um, Oat milk will go very well with uh, coffee if I'm not wrong. Same same thing for yogurt. I'm not a yogurt fan even before I became vegan. So I didn't really pursue on making my own vegan yogurt. But I heard people make yogurt from peanuts, from almond milk, etc. So I'll link all the details below. But, um, but here in the US, I usually buy yogurt from a brand called Kite Hill whenever I feel like eating yogurt, but that's in like once in three months or something like that. I don't eat yogurt that often. Same thing for cheese. Uh, there are tons of cheese alternatives. 
you know, here in the US there is a brand again Keitel and Miyoko's etc. These are very good brands for cheese alternatives which are made from uh, plant-based milk and I've heard some of these cheeses are better than cow's milk uh, but don't take my word on it because I have never really tried all of them. But again I'll link all the information I know about the cheese alternatives. And in India we eat a lot of paneer. Uh, I have replaced paneer with tofu in all my recipes and I had no problem with it at all. I, never, I didn't even see the difference so you can easily replace paneer with tofu. For eggs, it depends on what you're using uh, eggs for. For example, if you're using egg in baking, you can replace uh, egg by one tablespoon ground up flaxseed and three tablespoons of warm water. Uh, let it sit for like 20 minutes it will turn like a jelly consistency just like egg and you can use it in baking but if you're using it like a, a egg scramble you can use tofu instead of um, eggs uh, so I'll also uh, list those things in the description for uh, your easy access so you don't have to go look around everywhere similarly there are so many vegan butters one of them is the Earth Balance brand. Uh, I heard it's very good. And there is also vegan ghee. Yes, there is a vegan ghee as well, uh, which I heard, which I haven't tried, but it's called, um, I think it's called Live Yum. And another vegan ghee is from the brand Nutiv. I'll link that details below as well. Also, there are tons and tons of YouTube channels which are dedicated to make uh, you know vegan recipes so you can just say how to make beef wellington you have like thousand recipes uh, listed in front of you and it's so hard to pick one of them so you just have to try and see how it tastes so i also do vegan recipes you can also follow my channel to follow vegan recipes So now let's talk about some of you who don't want to go vegan. If you don't want to go vegan, you still can make some little changes so that you can help the environment, you can help with slowing down climate change, you can slow down deforestation, etc. So please stick around and watch it. For example, if you're planning to have pets at your home, please don't go to the fancy pet stores and buy pets from those uh, shops. Instead, you can go to animal rescue shelters where they have animals which have been rescued from all types of abuses. So that you can give a home love and care to those abandoned animals. If you choose to wear makeup, which almost everyone does, you can choose vegan and cruelty-free brands. Those are two different things. Vegan is basically the ingredients does not contain animal products and cruelty free is basically those products are not tested on animals so these are two different things so make sure they are cruelty free and vegan nowadays there are tons and tons of makeup brands and skincare brands which clearly tell you that they are vegan and they are cruelty free so why would you want to go with something which hurts animals because ultimately it's about supply and demand once there is no demand there won't be supply and once there is no demand for those products these companies will be forced to kind of stop using any animal products and they will stop testing on animals so it's in your hands again same thing applies to leather you might not be able to you know quit meat but you certainly can not wear leather for example leather belts, you know, leather handbags. You can totally wear imitation leathers, imitation fur, feather, etc. There is something called apple leather. There is something called fruit leather, like pineapple leather. There is all different types of leather which you can choose to wear instead of real animal leather. Uh, it's, again, it's in your hands. I think in today's age, it is very easy to go you know leather free and fur free and feather free etc so just for your inspiration i thought i'll list great minds who are vegans uh, some of them are greta thunberg beyonce mime bialik jacqueline phoenix madonna natalie portman lewis hamilton bill clinton uh, to just name a few of them 
don't ever think that uh, I'm just one person if I eat me meat all three times a day and if I quit meat just one time a week it doesn't make any difference it truly does make a difference you have the power to change it's it's all about supply and demand if you think about it like two years back I didn't see any vegan options in Starbucks or McDonald's or, or any of these places but nowadays you can see a lot of vegan options out there so always always think that you have the power to change and always uh, try to do as much as you can also just a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nutritionist so please especially if you're pregnant or nursing please talk to your doctor about um, any switch you're going to make or any diet changes you're going to make just like any other diet there's going to be deficiencies uh, especially when it comes to vegan diet you need to make sure you take uh, b12 supplements uh, there's going to be um, you know decrease in uh, protein consumption but you can balance it out with uh, what you eat every day uh, you can choose to eat high protein meals uh, which comes under the vegan diet also, there is vitamin D, which is not specific to vegan diet uh, because vitamin D is, you get it from the sun. So if you are, either if you are vegan or not, you will be deficient in vitamin D. So make sure you get vitamin D supplements. So, so these are some of the things which you need to um, think about uh, when you go vegan. So please make sure that you, you talk to your doctor, how you can supplement yourself and uh, how you can be... Um, you know thriving under the vegan diet although i have done quite a few blood tests before i've never been b12 deficient uh, maybe because i drink a lot of soy milk i love soy milk and uh, my soy milk i think has b12 so you know if you just drink soy milk which is b12 fortified you don't have to take extra b12 pills every day just just letting you know I love all vegans, non-vegans, animals alike. I just hope that this video, you know, uh, just gives you that spark you needed to explore the aspects of veganism. Each and every kindness matters. Each and every change matters. Each and every action matters. You matter. Remember, this is not to make you a perfect vegan. The idea is for everyone to do it imperfectly rather than one person doing it perfectly. If you like this effort, please press the like button. Please share it with your friends and family who needs to hear this. And if you want to see more such content, please let me know in the comment section. And consider subscribing so you get notified every, every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Take care. Namaste.